To really learn to name and write the formula for chemical compounds, you need lots of practice. And that's what the Naminator does. It gives you focused feedback and resources when you need it, but otherwise it leaves you alone and lets you practice. That makes learning a lot quicker and more effective. So here's how it works. So let's say I want to learn how to write chemical formulas for binary ionic compounds, and then I'm an AP student. So the first problem is aluminum oxide. I'm supposed to write the formula. And it says if I don't know, try entering the symbols. So I'll just write A, L, and O, and click on Submit to see what happens. Well, I've got it wrong, but now I have some hints here that'll help me write the formula for aluminum oxide. And there's also a video here if I want to watch to see, kind of be walked through the entire process for writing the formula for aluminum oxide. Well, let's write Al2O3, because I know that's the answer, and submit. And that tells us that aluminum oxide is Al2O3, and it gives us a nice little picture here as a reward. And we could just keep going on and on until we felt really confident that we could name these binary ionic compounds. At that point, we might want to go on and try some new compounds. So we could go back to the Naminator. Instead of writing formulas, let's write the names for some molecular compounds. We're AP, molecular, we get started. And again, it gives us a problem, and we can try to write the name. The power of this is that you're learning while you're practicing, so you only need to focus on where you're having problems, and this is an excellent and lasting way to learn. If I'm getting everything right, I can go back to the main page and try something different. So perhaps I want to try to write the formulas for all of the ionic compounds. I can do that, and then I'll have a mix of different compounds to work with. The keys to success are always to give an answer, even if you know it's going to be wrong. You should use the resources on the website that come up when you do get a problem wrong to help you learn how to name that compound or write the formula. And finally, make sure you're practicing both naming and writing formulas for the different compounds. This is Dr. B, and I hope you enjoy the Naminator. Thanks for watching.